माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर चंद्रेश्वर प्रसाद यादव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ साइंस यू पी राजेश टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रयागराज आज हम बी एस सी फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर पोस्ट स्टडी यू जी पी एच एस वन जीरो वन एन पोस्ट स्टडी वैक्टर मैकेनिक्स एंड जनरल फिजिक्स के अंतर्गत यूनिट थर्ड एंगुलर और रोटेशनल के बारे में चर्चा करेंगे एंगुलर एंड रोटेशनल मोशन इंट्रोडक्शन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट बेसिक पैरामीटर ऑफ डायनामेटिक्स क्वांटिटीज फॉर डिस्क्राइबिंग डायनामिक्स ऑफ ए पार्टिकल वी हैव आल्सो स्टडी अबाउट कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल्स सच है कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम एलॉन्ग विथ इट वी हैव आल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट कंजर्वेटिव एंड नॉन कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेस वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम कांसेप्ट ऑफ कोलिजन इन प्रेजेंट स्टेट यूनिट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट कानिमेटिक्स ऑफ रोटेशनल मोशन डिस्क्राइब द रिलेशनशिप एमंग एंगुलर वेलोसिटी एंगुलर एसिलेशन सर्कुलर मोशन एंड टाइम एलॉन्ग विथ इट वी हैव आल्सो फेमिलियर अबाउट रोटेशनल कानिटिक एनर्जी लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एंगुलर मोमेंटम एंड इट्स अप्लीकेशन Objective after studying the unit, we will also able to understand the rotational and translational motion, rotational equation of motion, define some parameters of rotational motion, concept of angular momentum and torque, rotational kinetic energy and conservation of angular momentum and its application. Next, motion of rigid body. A body is is solid body that has no deformation when a force is applied when forces are applied to such bodies they come to translational and rotational motion these forces change the momentum of system rigid bodies are found almost everywhere in real life all the objects found in real life are rigid in nature it becomes essential to study the motion and effect different forces have on them to be able to predict their trajectories the concept for rigid body dynamics were developed when classical mechanics were not able to describe the motion of kinetic problems for bodies to study the general motion of rigid body when forces are applied to it we also know its position and orientation at instant of time there are two types of rigid body motion first translational motion second rotational motion concept of translational motion a body is said to be in translatory motion when all the particles on that body are moving the same distances in equal time intervals this motion can be rectilinear or curvilinear for example a car is moving in a straight line a box sliding down a gas this kind of motion are governed by the equation of motion and newton's laws of motion properties of translatory motion first at any particular time each point of rigid body will have the same velocity when it perform translational motion second path of each point of rigid body in case of translational motion will be parallel to each other third if one consider the frame of reference of any point of rigid body then we will observe that body is at rest concept of rotational motion a body is said to be in rotational motion when all the particles constituting the body are moving around a common rotational axis in the same direction it is a type of circular motion in pure rotational motion angular velocity of all points is same about fixed as for example tires of a car moving on the road a ball rolling down in a base etc similar to translational motion this motion can also be described by extending the laws and equation using translational motion properties first each point of body will rotate about the fixed center and center will lie on the axis of rotation next each point of rigid body will have fixed radius next comparison between translational and rotational motion this side translatory motion this side rotational motion rotatory motion 
द पोजिशन ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ मास चेंजेस दिस टाइम इन रोटेटरी मोशन द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास फ्रॉम द एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम नेक्स्ट इन ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन फोर्स प्रोड्यूस द ट्रांसलेशन मोशन द टार इन ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन टार प्रोड्यूस द रोटेशनल मोशन द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ ट्रांसलेशनल मोशन इज गिवेन एज हाफ एम बी स्क्वायर फेर एम इज द मास ऑफ बॉडी बी इज द वेलासिटी ऑफ बॉडी नेक्स्ट काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ रोटेशनल मोशन इज गिवेन एज हाफ आई ओमेगा स्क्वायर फेर आई इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया एंड ओमेगा इज द एंगुलर वेलासिटी वर्क डन इक्वल टू फोर्स इन टू डिसमेंट वर्क डन इक्वल टू इन ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन फोर्स इन टू एंगुलर डिसमेंट द लीनियर मोमेंटा इक्वल टू मास इन टू लीनियर वेलासिटी एंगुलर मोमेंटा इक्वल टू मोमेंटम ऑफ इनर्सिया इन टू एंगुलर वेलासिटी पावर ऑफ ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन इज डिफाइंड एज फोर्स इन टू वेलासिटी एंड रोटेटरी मोशन केस पावर इज डिफाइंड एज टार्क इन टू एंगुलर वेलासिटी इक्वेशन ऑफ ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन द कैनामेटिक क्वान्टिटी रोटेशनल मोशन ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट आर एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंगुलर वेलासिटी एंड द एंगुलर रेसिलेशन दीज क्वान्टिटीज करिस्पॉन्ड टू द डिसमेंट एक्स वेलासिटी बी एंड द एसिलेशन ए रिस्पेक्टिवली इन द लीनियर मोशन एज वी नो दैट द कैनामेटिक्स इक्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इज गिवेन एज बी इक्वल टू यू प्लस एटी एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस ऑफ एटी स्क्वायर एंड थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए एस वेर यू इज द इनिशियल वेलासिटी ऑफ बॉडी ए इज एसिलेशन ऑफ बॉडी टी इज इक्वल टू टाइम एस इज टू डिसमेंट ऑफ बॉडी इन गिवेन टाइम B is the velocity of object at time t. Analogous equation of linear motion for rotational motion can be given as the equation of rotational motion is first omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t, theta equal to omega naught into t plus half alpha t square. Third, omega square equal to omega naught square plus two alpha into theta. Where theta equal to initial angular displacement, omega naught equal to initial angular velocity, alpha equal to angular acceleration, omega equal to angular velocity at an instant t. Parameters of rotational motion: first, angular velocity. Angular velocity is the angle described by a rotating body per unit time. It is a vector quantity. Uniform angular velocity is defined as if the particle describes equal angle in an equal interval of times, then the angular velocity is said to be uniform. Mathematically, it is defined as omega equal to d theta by dt. Angular displacement it is the described by the position vector r about the axis of rotation. It is denoted by theta. Angular displacement theta equal to linear displacement upon radius. Angular acceleration. The rate of change of angular velocity is defined as angular acceleration. Mathematically, it is represented as angular acceleration alpha equal to omega two minus omega one upon t two minus t one. Equal to d omega by dt equal to d square theta by dt square. Uniform circular motion. A particle is moving in a circular path. It is said to perform circular motion if its speed remains constant. Next, relation between angular velocity and linear velocity. Angular velocity omega equal to d theta by dt. D theta equal to d s upon r dt. Equal to b dt upon r dt 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 cancel out implies that omega equal to v by r hence v equal to omega r in vector notation angular velocity is given as b equal to r cross omega relation between angular acceleration and linear acceleration we know that linear acceleration equal to rate of change of linear velocity. 
a equal to dv by dt next angular acceleration is defined by rate of change of angular velocity alpha equal to d omega by dt from equation first and second we have divided by first equation into second alpha upon a upon alpha is equal to dv by d omega equal to dv equal to r omega upon d omega equal to r d omega d omega cancel out alpha a equal to alpha into r in vector notation it is represented as a equal to alpha cross r concept of angular momentum in physics angular momentum sometimes called momentum of rotational Momentum is the rotational along of linear momentum. It is an important physical quantity because it is a conserved quantity. The total angular moment of a closed system remains constant. Angular momentum has both a direction and a magnitude, and both are conserved. The angular moment L of a particle is defined as cross product of position vector r and momentum p. And is perpendicular to the plane containing R and P. That is, L equal to R cross P equal to I cross omega. In graphical representation, angular momenta is point object, extended object. In point object, L equal to R cross P. In extended object, L equal to I cross omega. Next, torque. Torque is the measure of the force that can cause an object to rotate about an axis. Torque can be defined as rotational equivalent of linear force. The straight line about which the object rotates is called the axis of rotation. In physics, torque is simply the tendency of a force to turn or twist. The unit of torque is Newton into meter. Mathematically, it is represented T is equal to F cross R equal to F dot R sin theta. This is the origin at distance R. Yeah, one force is applied at angle so th at angle theta. Then T is equal to F dot R dot sin theta. Rotational kinetic energy. Rotational energy occurs due to the object's rotational and is a part of its total kinetic energy. If the rotational energy is considered separately across an object axis of rotation, the moment of inertia is observed. Rotational energy is also known as angular kinetic energy and is defined as the kinetic energy due to the rotation of an object and is a part of its total kinetic energy. Rotational kinetic energy is directly proportional to the rotational inertia and the square of the magnitude of angular velocity. A rolling object has both translational and rotational kinetic energy. Mathematically, the rotational kinetic energy is defined as k equal to half i omega square, where i is the moment of inertia and omega is the angular velocity. Conservation of angular momenta. When a body is rotating about some fixed axis under the action of external torque, tau is a fixed external, then the time rate of change of its angular momentum, L is equal to tau, that is dl by dt is equal to tau external. If external torque is zero, that is tau external equal to zero, then dl by dt equal to zero. Then L equal to constant. This is the principle of conservation of angular momenta. According to it, if the total external torque acting on the body is zero, then the angular momenta of the body is remains conserved. For example, first angular momenta is conserved in the motion of planetary and satellite. Next. It is conserved in scattering of protons by a heavy nucleus. There are several application of law of conservation of angular momentum. For example, electric generator, nest, aircraft, engine, etc. Thank you.